Welcome to the Ask Julie Ryan Show. I'm always so excited when it's Thursday night because this show is just a blast every week. I never know who's going to call. I never know what their question is. I never know what Spirit's going to say for an answer because, you know, Spirit works through me and with me or through my buffet of psychicness so we can talk to your dead grandma. We can scan your cat. I can scan you medically. We can do past life stuff. I can tell how to just somebody is. I mean, whatever. It's all fun and it's all exciting because I never know what the question is going to be. We've got a whole bunch of people on call on hold that have called in. We got a bunch of people on YouTube and we'll be taking questions from both. A couple of announcements. First of all, I'm giving away a free class tonight, you guys. There's going to be a free scholarship to my class, the Angels and Enlightenment Training. So you want to stay with us for the show because I'm going to be announcing that a little later in the show. Also, Tuesday night, next Tuesday night, the 23rd of April, we're doing Ask Julie Ryan Live, which is from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern, and it's so much fun. It's like a big slumber party. You come, you get the opportunity, you may be chosen to ask a question again from anything in my buffet of psychicness, and I give away lots of prizes on the fourth Tuesday of the month. So this will be April's live. Just go to AskJulieRyan.com slash live. And you can register for that. And that's, that's really fun. It's, it's, I can get more people on. I have more time. It's more of a conversation and other people can join in too, which is really fun. If you want to win a free session with me, just leave a review anywhere you listen to the show, whether that be on any podcast network or on all of them, or leave a review. Tell us what you think about the show on your YouTube channel, if you're joining us on YouTube. If you wanna win a free class, then you gotta subscribe to YouTube. So those of you listening in the car, when you get a minute, subscribe to Ask Julie Ryan on YouTube. And then lastly, my angelic attendant training class, People are signing up for it right and left, May 18th and 19th. It's going to be online. It will change your life. It will enhance your life in every way. You will be able to do all the stuff that I do. It's over a weekend. And then there are practice groups for life. We have nine practice groups a week, and they're all free for the rest of your life. Well, let's say for the rest of my life. <laughs> Because if I'm in heaven, I doubt if we're still going to be doing practice groups. But that's what we're going to do. Okay, Chris, please bring in our first caller. Hi, Daphne. Hi. How are you, girl? I'm good, thank you. Terrific. <laughs> please tell everybody where you're located. I'm in Australia, eastern Australia. side of Australia. Oh, my goodness. And it looks like it's and daylight the there. Is it morning? It is. It's just uh, the next day. We're Friday, um, about 16 hours ahead of you. I know. So we're talking to you real time in the future. It's like a sci-fi movie. How fun is that? Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us. Do you have a question for me? Yes, please. I've been trying to get um, in for a while. I've been um, uh, trying to resolve and, and battle with this issue I have in the lower part of my body, the, the bladder urinary system. Ever since mm -hmm. the uh, the lockdown business we've had a couple of years ago, it affected me emotionally, mentally, in every aspect. And um, I have a lot of discomfort after I empty. It's embarrassing, but I'm, I mean, I don't mind. Um, so the discomfort, is, it's uh, debilitating for me. And I've got to a habit where I'm now um dis designing defining my life my day around when i need to empty my bladder because i need to mm -hmm. to sit down or lie down to rest for that 15 minutes half an hour before i'm okay again um i have worked through many many aspects in the physical emotional spiritual level everything i can get hold of um to try and to resolve that so it's been just over two years, two and a half years since I've been trying to work out what it is that my spirit is trying to tell me, what my body is trying to tell me, what mm -hmm. I need to address. Oh, heavens. Yeah. Does it hurt all the time or just when you empty your bladder? 
it's it's more after I've emptied a bladder, it's discomfort where it's like an oversensitive nervous system. It's like, oh, you got this electric shock and you can't walk. Um, so it takes that half an hour or so for it to settle down. Um, the symptoms is mainly just that, the oversensitive bladder um, or nervous system and the tiredness the that comes with that. Mm-hmm. But I'm much better with the tiredness now after working through for the physical, emotional, past life stuff, the whole works, whatever mm-hmm. I can get hold of. Yeah, I, what I are your doctors? Even, what are your doctors saying? I've had scans um, a couple of years when it started. It's all clear. It's nothing there. So I just know it's a lot of emotional stuff, mm-hmm. um, past life stuff, parent stuff, my own stuff, the, the society stuff. I've worked through every avenue that I can possibly think of. So mm-hmm. I'm hoping that you might better give me some insight as to what else it is that my body or my spirit is trying to tell me that I need to work through. Okay. Yeah, All I'm right. ready to go. I want to go ahead, get ahead. And I'm a, a light worker, healer, practitioner, and I've, I'm defining my days around that, which isn't me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to get you on my radar, Daphne. How this works to those of you that are first time joining us is I raise my vibrational level to the level of spirit because we're all spirits attached to a body having a human experience. Daphne, you know all of this. And when we're attached to us to a body, we vibrate more slowly simply because the body has mass. So I raise my vibrational level. This is what I teach in my classes. Takes me a nanosecond. I'm going to close my eyes for a second, Daphne. I'm going to watch a laser beam come from my body here in Birmingham, Alabama. Alabama in the southeastern U.S. It's going to come all the way down to you in Australia. It's going to hook into you, and then it's going to be as if I'm looking at an X-ray or a CT scan or an MRI. Something will be identified, and then there will be some type of healing. Now, I want you to envision the healing, Daphne, because if you can envision it, it's going to help integrate the healing into your body because the body's always going to follow what the brain tells it, even if the brain doesn't believe it should be true. And for those of you that are watching and listening, I want you guys to envision this too, because we're all going to be working together with Daphne. You know, I'm going to be the lead. And then that when we all think of the same thing, we put a lot of energy onto it. Also, I'm going to be talking about somebody that sent me an email this week. And when she listened to the show, what happened to her and the healing that she had by envisioning what we were talking about. So stay tuned for that too. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. So here we go. Here comes my laser beam from Sweet Home, Alabama, heading to you down in Australia. Okay, take a second to get down there. I watch my laser beam go over oceans, go over continents. I see the world turn like I'm turning a globe. It's pretty funny when I get to see all these visuals in my head. And spirit gives me these visuals so that it I can communicate them with you, Daphne, and with everybody listening so we can have a human frame of reference for all this woo-woo stuff that we're doing. Okay, got you. Shooting energy from your feet up through the top of your head. Okay, so your bladder's raw. Your bladder looks like it has little cuts in it. Like if we took a little paring knife and we just made little nicks in the wall of your bladder and it goes down your urethra as well. Does it hurt when you're urinating as well? Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. not so much pain. It's almost like it's not like cystitis, like a, a burning. Um, only at times, at times it doesn't. So that's yeah. where I, I've even tested you. Um, infection. It's not that. It's not so UTI. It's no, I can no. see that. I I am seeing a yeast overgrowth in there. So I'm clearing that out, and that's going to help a lot because that's one of the symptoms of yeast overgrowth is pain in the bladder and the doctors haven't ever heard of it, but it's a pretty common symptom. And I hear it fairly frequently from women who do have bladder issues and the docs are all testing them for 
UTIs, which is what they should be doing, but then they throw their hands up because they don't know what it is. So I'm getting the yeast cleared out of your GI tract, out of your bladder. I'm applying anti-inflammatory energy, which is a royal blue color. Inflammation looks like red fog on body parts to me. And then anti-inflammatory energy is a royal blue color. So I'm doing that just to get the inflammation calmed down. And now here comes the magic, the stem cell energy, Daphne. Light amber color gel, sparkles, because it's woo-woo, got to have sparkles with woo-woo. And it has a watery consistency to it. And it, I think it's plasma. I think we're in the plasma field when these healings happen. And, uh, and so that's coating your whole bladder. It's coating your urethra so that it's all going to be regenerated. And there's a vortex spinning outside of your, your pelvic area in the front. And that centrifugal force is what transforms the stem cell energy into new body parts. This stuff's so cool, Daphne. It'll regenerate any body part we need. I mean, it's, I have seen amazing things with this stem cell energy stuff. So hopefully that will help, help you uh, mm -hmm. do, do better. I would suggest that you consider working with Dr. Maria Amasanti. It's D-R-A-M-A-S. A N T I dot com D and it's D R I M A S A N T I. It'll be in the show notes. Her her web address is in the show notes. She can look at you from a thirty thousand foot view, and she can help you clear that up. She's in London, but she works with people all over the world via Zoom. She's a general practitioner MD. She's holistic medicine, naturopathic medicine, functional medicine. She's a graduate of my class, so she does energy medicine. And she will be your favorite doctor you've ever talked to in your whole life. I believe she can help you clear that up on the physical side of the equation. It's already healed on the medical. Now it'll integrate into your body, and that can help it integrate better. Has she so got a I website? Would... Has she yeah, got a I website? gave it to you. Yeah. And it'll yeah. be in the show notes, dramasanti.com. That's her website. Mm -hmm. So, okay. but I hope you feel better. Thanks You're for welcome. calling. Thank you Have so much. I'm, I've you got bet. booked in next week to see you of your, your um, live show to two hours anyway. Perfect. Perfect. I'll look for you there. Thanks, Daphne. Thank you so much. Bye. Let's see who's next. Hi, Jenny. Hello. How are you? How are you? Are you? Girl? I'm terrific. How are you doing? Great. I'm here with my mother who's actually on the phone with me. And she's okay. the one that has the question and the issue. Okay. She's actually from Columbus, Ohio. So ah, maybe you guys hometown. know some same people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh. Um, her name is Barbara. And okay. um she has, uh, I'm in Southern Connecticut. She's in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Um, yeah. She has some kind of neuropathy in her feet mm. and she's not diabetic. She's been to many different doctors. So she's wondering if you can help her understand what the cause of it is and if you can help heal it or if there's anything else that she can do to help heal it. Mm -hmm. um, that, that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. She's on the phone here. Okay, terrific. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect into you and then I'm going to connect from you to your mama. An Ohio, a Columbus, Ohio girl, no less. Okay, here we go. Yeah. For those of you that don't know what we're talking about, I was born and raised in Columbus, Ohio. So I'm here we Bexley. go. She's from Bexley? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I know right where that is. Okay, got yeah. you going to your mama, heading north from you. All right, got your mom. Hi, Barbara. So shooting energy from her feet up through the top of her head. Can you mute her, please, Jenny, so we don't get feedback yes. from that? That'd yes, be great. Okay, great. All right. I've got that. So when you were telling me what her symptoms were, I got diet. I'm not sure what she's eating or not eating. I would suggest that since that was the first thing that came into my head, I get what I call divine downloads. And that's information coming into my head when we're talking, even before I get you, get you or your mom on my radar. And there's a test that she can do at home, a gut biome test. It's a fancy name for a poop test. 
and it's okay. called the Viome test. It's V as in Victor, I O M as in Mary E dot com, Viome dot okay. com. And it's going to use Julie Ryan at checkout, and it's like 60 or 70% off or something like that. And that'll be in the show notes as well, viome.com. But be sure and put my name in there so you get a discount. The um, Viome test, you do at home, you don't need a doctor's orders. And it's going to tell us what the ecosystem is in her gut. Based on that, okay. since food is the best medicine, it's going to tell us, here are her superfoods, here are the foods for her to avoid, here's everything else. Eat this a lot, eat this a little. And so let's do the Barbara diet. And I would schedule an appointment with Dr. Maria, dramasanti.com. It's in the show notes, and she will help her get to the bottom of what's causing this. In the meantime, let's rotor rooter her neurological system, especially going okay. down into her feet. So imagine Great. that that the neurological system looks like a network of tubing. Picture clear aquarium tubing. And sometimes okay. in aquarium tubing, it gets gunk in it. That's a medical term I invented, gunk. And okay. it's uneaten fish flakes, fish poop, minerals from the water. I mean, all kinds of stuff in there. And that's what it looks like to me in the body. It's dead cells. It's other debris that gets in there. And what it does is it impedes the electrical flow, you know, the nerve electricity. It impedes it like if you have some kind of a something in a cord to a lamp or something and it'll short out. That's what happens. Okay. So imagine that network of tubing, and we're just going to do her whole body because I can, because she's on my radar. So what the heck? So imagine that there are these little corkscrews inside the tubing. And imagine that they're spinning really fast and they're grinding up any kind of gunk that's in there. They just like eat right through it. They just grind it up. And so we're watching that. And then once they start off in her brain and then they come down, you know, her spine and everything, then they start to multiply and divide. It's pretty fun to watch. And now there's a whole bunch of corkscrews going through her whole neurological system. The tubing for the nerves is probably the diameter of maybe a piece of angel hair pasta. How about that as a visual? So you okay. can picture this. Okay. It's down to about her hips now. Once we get down to her feet, I will let you know because we're going to irrigate it. And okay, so it's grinding from about mm, two or three inches above her ankles. You know, kind of like if you've got an auger and you're trying to plant bulbs or something or dig a hole for a tree and you run into thick clay like we have down here in the Deep South. And it kind of has to work a little harder to get through that. Yep. Yeah, she's got a bunch of debris down there. She's got gunk. She's got gunk, but we're getting rid of it. Okay. All right. Left foot, left foot's done. Right foot's still grinding. Be interesting to see if her right foot's worse than her left because it looks like it is to me. So we've got that going. Okay. Done. Irrigating from the top of her head and the irrigation fluid just looks like water. It's coming out the end of her toes. Imagine that her feet look like sprinklers. It's hilarious when I get to see that. And now here comes the stem cell energy. Light amber colored gel, sparkles, dippity doo. My guess is she probably knows what dippity doo is. For those of you that are listening, look it up. It's a hair gel that was big in the 60s and 70s when I was growing up. And so we've got that going. There's a vortex spinning above her head, beneath her feet, on either side of her front and behind, all spinning concurrently. This is regenerating her neurological system. As those nerves come back online, they turn pink and they're kind of like a baby pink color. And uh, so all her nerves are turning pink. So hopefully that'll help. I get this is diet related. And I believe if she does the biome test. It's going to give her, let's, let's do the Barbara test, you know, or the Barbara diet. And, uh, and then I, I think it would make sense for her to work with Dr. Maria as well. So I hope that helps. Great. Barbara. Thank you so much. Let, let us know how I'll you're doing. Up. Okay, great. All right. Thanks. You. Bye. Okay, let's see. I, I can feel it. I think we have a question coming in from YouTube. Oh, 
Oh, it's be psychic or something. Here we go. Lori Z. I can't wait to listen from something. I can't see from New Jersey, maybe. Wondering if the aches and pains are lupus. I get a yes, even though my test was negative. It caused my gran and mom to pass early, both undiagnosed from lupus. Thanks. Okay, Lori, I get a yes on the lupus. Let's just go ahead and uh, and work on you. Lupus and all the autoimmune diseases are issues with the gut. They are totally healable. So don't let anybody tell you you're just going to have it for the rest of your life and it's going to, you just have to deal with it. Not negatory. It's all gut related. I heard Dr. Gundry, Dr. Stephen Gundry at a conference, I heard him live say all autoimmune diseases stem from the gut. The gut's out of whack. You got leaky gut. So what I've said before, I think you want to do the Viome test, V-I-O-M-E dot com. Use Julie Ryan at checkout, all one word. And then I think you want to work with Dr. Maria. And you know what, you guys, she doesn't even pay me. I mean, I think she should as much as I recommend her, don't you think? But I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, she can really help you with that. And it's completely healable. So I've gotten the inflammation calmed down in your body. Blue, royal blue color. Uh, energy is anti-inflammatory energy. Think of the color of a refreezable ice pack. That's what those look like to me. And that will help. But this is all coming from the gut. You're going to be able to heal. Follow what Dr. Maria says and she'll get you well in no time. Hope you feel better. Okay, let's see who's next. Hi, Jane. Jane says she's calling from Pueblo, Colorado. Okay, you got a question for me? Here we go. I watch all of your videos for inspiration and guidance. Oh, I'm so honored. Thank you, thank you. I have a crooked back with neuropathy and right leg. Can you do your dippity do magic on it? Blessings. Absolutely, Miss Jane. Okay, here we go. Comes my laser beam from Sweet Home, Alabama, heading out to you in Colorado. Actually, my brother-in-law or my sister-in-law and her husband, my brother-in-law, just arrived from Colorado a couple of hours ago. So Tim's got them out to dinner while I'm playing with you guys. And so they're here for the weekend. It will be really fun. Okay, I digress. Here we go. Laser beam heading out to you. Crooked back. All right. I can see that you you curve both sides. I'm looking at you from behind, Jane. So imagine there are two big metal rods on either side of your spine. And imagine there's a laser that's that's heating up your spine to make it pliable, like a potter needs clay that's malleable in order to form whatever their creation is. And imagine that both of those rods are moving very slowly towards the center. And when they get in position, it's almost like they go into a groove, similar to a groove for a sliding glass door or a sliding glass screen door. And so they're in place and then your spine is lasered again to fire it, kind of like the potters firing their creation to make it solid. And we've got that going on. Okay, let's just roto-rooter out your neurological system like what we just did with Barbara. Corkscrews going through your body that's happening. It's going to be irrigated out. Most of the attention is going to your right foot. I don't know if that's where your problem is, but that's where I'm watching the, the energy go. Irrigation fluid flying out the end of your toes, making your feet look like sprinklers. Here comes your dippity do girl. Stem cell energy, light amber color gel sparkles, and uh, watery consistency going in, vortices spinning above your head, beneath your feet on either side of you, front and behind. So hopefully that will help you heal and uh, will integrate into your body. So thanks for calling. I hope you feel better. If you want to join us, come to AskJulieRyanShow.com if you want to have a conversation with me. If you're coming in through YouTube on the live stream, we're at Ask Julie Ryan. You can put a question in the chat. Just be sure and put your name and where you're located, and that'll help a lot. And then we can go from there. Remember to subscribe always. And, you know, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you're entered into a drawing for a free class. So that's a deal right there. 
All righty, let's see who's next. Hi, Terry. Hi, Julie. How are you, my dear? I am well, and Wonderful. I'm excited to be able to chat with you tonight from Portland, Maine. Wonderful. Okay. My dear friend, Chris Northrup lives in Portland, Maine. Yes, I definitely know Chris. Christiane. Yeah. Yes. Christiane, that's right. Yes. Dr. Christiane, the fairy godmother of women's health. That's what I call yes. her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't you think that's a good term for her? Yes, I do. Of, I, for those of you I that totally agree. There, yeah, go to <laughs> drnorthrup.com. And uh, anything you want to know about women's health, boy, she's oh, the queen. Yeah, she's a wealth of information. She sure is. Do you have a question for me? I do. Um, I have been on this healing journey for quite a while. And my um, initial question is, why is this? Why is my issue not healing? Because I know how healing works. And I do healing work for people all day long. And so I'm like, me next. I want to be too. <laughs> yeah. So I'm having a hard time with my hips and walking and okay. um, the muscles don't seem to be firing. There's a hmm. lot of pain and I don't work well unless I have ibuprofen on board and I would really okay. love to stop taking that. Mm -hmm. But right now that's the thing that seems to be helping and supporting to some degree. So anyway, I, I'm curious if there's an answer to like, why would I not be healing? And secondly, um, you know, is there a possibility that I'll be able to heal and what you see? Okay. Have you, what are your doctors saying? Do you need new hips? Um, I think some of them think that, um, uh, mostly I'm seeing chiropractors and, okay. you know, other healers, different, different types of healers. Um, I'm not really in that medical system anymore. So. Okay. All right. Let me get you on my radar. Here comes okay. my laser beam from sweet home, Alabama, heading up to you in Maine. All right. Got you heading Northeast. Got you. All right. Coming in. It's going to your left hip first. Does your left hip hurt? more than your right by any yeah chance? they both they're just different from each other yeah yeah okay all right you got bone on bone in your left hip girl all right so let's use stem cell energy to get some padding in there and light amber colored gel sparkles dippity do do you remember dippity do back from the day mm -hmm. yeah. yes i do i know isn't that hilarious but that's what spirit <laughs> tells me to call it okay yeah. And, uh, so that's coating the, the socket and in between the socket and the ball of your joint, your joint is starting to deteriorate some, it has kind of, um, little pock marks kind of in it, little, uh, little, how can I explain it? Have you ever seen a rock that's flat, but it's got little indentations in it? Mm-hmm. Like yeah, maybe lava rock? Mm, not that dramatic. Not that much. Just, yeah, not that dramatic. So the stem cell energy, what it's doing is it's going to give you padding in there, but it's also going to give us some, some smooth bone. Okay. So if, but if it's bone on bone, it kind of chips away at itself is what's going on and that, and it hurts a lot. So that's what's going on there and putting that in on the left hip. I'm not seeing the joint get replaced. So hopefully the stem cell energy will help. Let me go over to the right hip and see what's going on there. Does the right hip hurt more Terry in the back kind of towards, towards your, the back side of that joint? That's where the energy is working the most right now as I have okay. you on my radar. So again, more stem cell energy going in there. You're going to be like the bionic babe here by the time we're done with you. And <laughs> it's just making more padding there. I'm seeing arthritis too. You've got some arthritis going on in your joints. And that looks to me, Terry, like calcium deposits that you'd see on a battery that's expired. 
you ever had a flashlight battery and you get the battery out of there it's got all that white crunchy stuff on it that's what yeah that's what arthritis looks like to me and that's what it looks like in surgery on the monitors when a joint is being scoped i've been in a bazillion of those surgeries as an inventor of orthopedic surgery devices so i'm pulling your I, spirit working through me and with me, certainly to facilitate healing, pulling your skeleton out of the top of your head. And as it goes out, do you remember those old fashioned, old fashioned, not that long ago, car washes that had the brushes instead of the fabric when you drove through them and it would clean your car as you drove through them with the brushes? Sure. So they figured out it scratched the daylights out of the paint on our cars <laughs> and it went back, they, they changed it all to fabric. Well, as your skeleton gets pulled out the top of your head, all that little white calcium crunchy stuff gets removed. Your whole skeleton's being dipped into a big vat of stem cell energy. Reminds me of one of those dunking tubs, dunking pools at the fair where you put somebody on a seat and you throw a baseball and dunk them into the pool and then pulled back out, coming back into your body, going uh vortices going above your head beneath your feet on either side front and behind all spinning concurrently when it's a full body healing like that like a skeletal healing that's when i see the vortices surrounding your body if we're just working on some little area then i'll see a single vortex that's spinning but normally if it's a full body thing it's all of them. The other thing I'm being led to suggest to Terry is Beam Minerals, B-E-A-M, mineralsplural.com. And I would highly suggest that you get the mineral liquid and also the electrolyte liquid because you've got a malabsorption issue happening and that's contributing to it. And when I see calcium like that, you know, in the form of arthritis, you're not absorbing well. So listen to my interview with Caroline Allen. I don't remember the number, but um, it's, it's really good. And she really educates us on why we have mineral malabsorption and why so many of us are deficient in minerals because of our food supply. So yeah, I've um, already purchased those. So I, I, I yeah, I, I just got them. Perfect. You're way ahead of the game. Good girl. For those of you that are listening that haven't gotten them yet, beamminerals.com, mineralsplural.com. Use Julie Ryan, all one word at checkout, and you'll get a, a discount on the order. And I love them. I've been using them for two or three months now. And oh my gosh, what a difference. I have a lot of energy to begin with, but I really ramped up when I started using those. So I believe those can help you a lot. Great. So I hope that makes you feel better. Great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks, Terry. Okay. Let me read you the, we're still going to, I'm going to announce the winner of the Angels and Enlightenment training here in a couple of minutes. But in the meantime, here's a follow-up to somebody that watched the show. I was, I alluded to this earlier and it's from Cheryl. And she says, hi, Julie, while watching the interview with you and Tina Zion that we released that, I believe, last weekend. So you'll be able to find it on the podcast streams and also on YouTube. And just go to AskJulieRyan.com to my show tab and you'll see it there. But she said, while watching the interview with you and Tina Zion, there was a discussion about energetic healing, one of many during your interview. At one point, both of you, both you and Tina appeared on the screen and it felt like I made eye, eye contact with both of you. In that instant, I felt a pop in my right shoulder at my rotator cuff. I've been having problems moving my arm and having pain with certain movements. When I felt the pop, the pain seemed to subside. I was lying down at the time this happened, so I sat up and moved my arm around and found the impingement was gone. I'm treating this as though I had surgery and as part of my recovery, I'm moving my arm slowly and not lifting heavy things. I'm having very little pain and I feel I will ultimately be pain free. I feel very strongly that I received a healing from both of you. I wanted to share this with you to hear what you thought. 
I get notes all the time from people telling me that they get healings for whatever ails them by listening to the show. I also hear all the time from people that they're listening to, to me doing a healing on somebody that's calling in and they have the same issue and it helps them heal their issue as well. So energy, healing energy goes to anybody and everybody that's listening. And remember, time doesn't exist in the spirit world. Time's a human creation. So it doesn't matter whether you're listening to this live or whether you're listening to this tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. It doesn't matter because spirit doesn't have time connected to it. So I thought that was really terrific. So thanks, Cheryl, for submitting that and uh, for giving us a follow-up. I love your follow-up. Send them in and yours may be chosen to be read on the air. So we'll go there. All righty, let's see who our next caller is. Hey, how's Hi. it going? Great, hey, great. I'm I'm Paris Jure from uh, Vancouver, BC. Hi, Paris. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm hoping you can use that little dippity do magic and kind of help me out with my question because for years I've been struggling with uh, like depression and suicidal thoughts and stuff like that. And then mm -hmm. recently over the past couple of months, I turned 28 and um, I was in the hospital and they said, well, we think it might be borderline personality disorder. And then you mix that within um, probably five-ish years of alcoholism. And I'm just kind of at a loss because I feel so like purposeless. And I'm just told, get therapy, get therapy, get therapy. But it's not really helping the the thoughts of just like unworthiness at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Paris, here comes my laser beam from Sweet Home, Alabama, heading up to you. You are very brave to call in and talk about this. And you know what? I get this question asked a lot. And I have a lot of clients who are dealing with this. So thank you for bringing this question to the forefront here this evening. I think you're I think you're a hero in my book right off the bat. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Yeah. So got you shooting energy from your feet. So it's going to your brain. I'm looking at your brain. Have you been in a car accident? Have you had a big fall? Are you a skier? Were you near an explosion? Um, I've never had like any, I've been in car accidents, but like minimal ones, nothing with head trauma or brain damage or anything. Okay. You don't have to hit your head to get a brain injury. Mm. Most of the time people don't hit their heads when they have brain injuries. Were you an athlete in school as well? Did you play soccer or football? I played or any soccer, of yeah. You played soccer. Okay. Brain matter looks to me like thick cooked oatmeal, Paris, and scar tissue in the brain, what I call scar tissue, looks like chicken cartilage, that white, bendable, flexible stuff in a chicken breast with the bone in. So what I'm watching is I'm watching that scar tissue get removed. Imagine if you take a big spoonful of oatmeal, it's going to leave a divot in the cereal in your bowl, right? And so that's what's happening everywhere that scar tissue is removed, stem cell energy, my dippity do, light amber color gel sparkles, dippity do, and it's fun to say too, that comes in and it's filling those, those divots. And then there's a vortex that's spinning above each area that's happening. When I see scar tissue in somebody's brain, whether it's somebody young like you or somebody who's elderly that has dementia or Alzheimer's, their brains are full of scar tissue. I get it removed because it can occlude neural pathways. And neural pathways, Paris, look to me like laser beams as part of a security system that crisscross a room in a museum or a building or a home. Have you ever seen one of those movies where they're art thieves and they're trying to steal a painting out of the museum and they're stepping over or <laughs> under or crawling like Ocean's Eleven? You know, they got that gymnast guy that's like doing all kinds of wild stuff to avoid the laser beams and setting off the alarm. Okay, so laser beams are now lit up. That's going to help you. Number one. Number two, tell me about what you like to eat. Tell me about your diet. Uh, my diet's not that great. I really struggle with eating. 
Like I okay. could barely, I wake up and I could go until probably seven, eight o'clock without touching anything. And then if I do, it's either a protein drink because it's really quick or yogurt or a banana. Okay. All right. So we got to get your gut healthy. And the there's a guy who's head of psychiatry at Harvard named Chris Palmer, Dr. Chris Palmer, who's done a lot of research. And he has had patients for 30 years that were seriously mentally ill. I mean, like schizophrenic and bipolar and stuff like that. These Some of these people had been out of work for decades, Paris, because they just weren't able to function. And what he's learned is that 90% of them not only get better, but he goes so far as to say are cured by eating a ketogenic diet, oh, high protein, yeah. high fat. Okay. He said that the medicines only help about 10% of his patient population, but everybody that he's gotten who's a patient to use a ketogenic diet, they've all recovered. And he said they not only can function better, but their depression and their whatever their mental illness goes away and they can return to work in most instances and live a healthy life. And he said it doesn't just happen temporarily, but it actually actually heals their brains. That's a huge statement. Huge, huge, huge. The other thing is Dr. Daniel Amen, amenclinics.com. If you go on amenclinics.com, I know you're in Canada, probably the closest center to you is in, in the Seattle area, but he will do a brain scan. His clinics will do a brain scan and it will show what areas of your brain light up with different activities. When there's depression, when there's other kinds of issues like what you're talking about, he says, that talk therapy is helpful, but you gotta look at the brain and see what's going on. And soccer players and people that are in car accidents and veterans and people that have had big falls or skiers or whatever, their brains oftentimes have had injury to them and it affects how the brain operates. A CT scan, an MRI is gonna show the structure of the brain. It's like raising the hood of a car you can see, okay, there's the radiator, there's the pistons, there's a whatever. Like, I know what I'm talking about. I don't, but <laughs> I've heard those terms with cars. And and then you just got to use a diagnosis to, to see why isn't it working, right? So those are a couple of things I would recommend. Uh, just, just do an internet search on Christopher Palmer, MD, Harvard, and you'll find he, there's a ton of interviews with him out there. You'll learn a lot from him. And then amenclinics.com. And uh, and you'll learn a lot on their website as well. So hopefully that will help between the All healing. Right. Thank and Thank you so much. Thank you for so your time. So the healing, one, one more thing, Paris, the healings happen on the energetic level. It's going to mm -hmm. integrate into your body. Now let's help it integrate from the physical level mm -hmm. by following what these doctors are suggesting. So Keep us posted. Let us know how you're doing. Sounds good. I will. Thank you again. Okay. Bye, Paris. Bye. Okay. If you want to talk to me, AskJulieRyanShow.com. If you want to submit a question on YouTube, on the live stream, we're at Ask Julie Ryan. So you can get to me either way. Remember, next Tuesday, we're going to do the live. AskJulieRyan.com slash live. And it's a blast. It's like a big slumber party. You can even wear your jammies. Some people do. It's hysterical. So join us. Okay, let's see who's next. Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hi, my son passed away February 3rd. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Is he trying to communicate with me? If so, how? Okay, the picture that I got, first of all, my condolences to you and your family. And I hope that you've read my book, Angelic Attendance, What Really Happens As We Transition From This Life Into The Next, How Your Son Was Surrounded By Angels and the Spirits of Deceased Loved Ones and Pets and Met By All Of Them Once He Got To Heaven As Well. So if you haven't, you, anybody listening, go to julieryangift.com, 
julieryangift.com will send you a free digital and audiobook download of the book. And uh, hopefully that will help comfort you and, and inform you as well. What he showed me when I first started reading your question was like, when you make the bed, I used to do this with Jonathan, my son, when he was little, and he'd stand in the middle of my bed and I'd have the bottom sheet on and then I'd take the top sheet and he'd stand on it and then I'd pull it so he would fall and I would pretend that the top sheet were waves of the ocean. And I'd say, and the ship was rattling and the waves were high and he loved it. He just squealed when we did that. That's what I was seeing from your son was waves of the ocean but with sheets so i don't know pay attention to that if your sheets move it it had something to do with bed sheets and waves i certainly know that grief is like waves of the ocean when you're in grief i want you to remember how waves the ocean is calm and then the waves come in with force, especially if it's high tide or there's a storm and they can be very strong. Sometimes they could even knock us over if we're in the way of a wave coming in and it crashes onto the sand with a lot of force and then it recedes. So when we're in grief, think of the waves of the ocean. The wave's going to come in, it's going to hurt, it's going to feel awful and then it's going to recede. So just picture that waves of the ocean, ride the waves as those waves of grief come in. And then you'll find that sometimes it's high tide, sometimes it's really tough with those waves coming in, and sometimes it's low time tide, and it's just calm. And you'll have a wave come in, but it's not as dramatic as the high tide. So just, just keep that in mind. I hope that helps. Okay, this is from Gabby. Hi, Julie. I'm joining from Wilmington, North Carolina. Can you offer any guidance on my future move? I'm currently without a home, but staying happy and positive with gratitude. I see you moving into an apartment with a roommate who's a girl. So check around, Gabby, and see if you have a friend that's looking for a roommate even if it's temporary till you find something else. I see you living in an apartment with a friend who's a girl. So I hope that helps. Ask around and uh, hopefully you'll, you'll find somebody. And the other thing too, Gab, is expect the people that you need to show up are gonna show up at the exact perfect time because they always do. We, when we are in a situation, I think so often we tend to focus on the problem and the solution can't find us when we're, when we're focused on the problem because we're in the problem vibration with our thoughts. But when we focus on the solution and we stay open to how it's going to materialize, that's when we can get guidance from spirit. Because always remember when we're focused on the problem, it feels bad. And spirit doesn't communicate on the I feel crappy channels because the vibration's too low. So you want to focus on the solution. Ask for help. Ask your angels, ask your deceased loved ones, ask God, ask the saints, whomever. Say, hey, I need some help. Can you show me, you know, what I can do to help in this situation? And you'll be amazed what kind of support shows up from heaven to help you. All righty, AskJulieRyanShow.com. If you're on the live stream, we're at Ask Julie Ryan on YouTube. Put a question in the chat. Wendy, thank you so much. You are so welcome. Let us know what happens. And then we'll take it from there. Okay, Steph. Hi, Julie. Contacting you from California. My spouse has been suffering from nerve compression with, with tingles and pain, numbness, and fatigue. Tight neck and upper back. Doctors don't know what it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do, Steph, is I'm going to connect into you, and then I'm going to ask your husband, and it looks like she put his name's Leighton in there. Let's ask Leighton if I can have his permission to scan him, because, you know, I always ask permission if I'm scanning somebody other than the person with whom I'm talking, because I think it's an invasion of their privacy to scan them without their permission. Uh, I'm not about to do that. And if they don't want me to scan them, we can still talk to their spirit. I don't have a problem with that 
because it's kind of like if somebody has pneumonia and you ask them how they're doing, they're going to tell you what they want you to know, but you're not looking at their chest x-ray without their permission. So that's kind of how I operate. I think it's an ethical thing. Here we go. Here comes my laser beam from Sweet Home, Alabama, heading out to you in California. Got you, got your husband. Okay. Yeah. He, he looks like he's in a brace where his shoulders are kind of pinned back. Good heavens. All right. Uh, let's see what's going on. I am watching all those muscles and ligaments and stuff across his shoulders get heated with a laser kind of to make them more pliable. And I'm watching them get stretched out so that his shoulders will relax. Got that going on. Okay. And then I'm watching stem cell energy get slathered on there to just keep them loose, but tight enough that they work and just to soften them. Kind of, kind of like if you, back in the day, there was this cocoa butter stuff that we used for sun tanning. I'm dating myself. Copper tone. Oh, it smelled great. And uh, we would slather that stuff on. And if you had dry skin, you know, that was all puckered from being in the ocean or being in the pool, you put some cocoa butter on that stuff and that would just smooth your skin out right away. That's what I watch the stem cell energy do to your husband's shoulders. I would recommend that he see a chiropractor as well to, I watched a chiropractic adjustment happen and hopefully that will help him feel better as well. So chiropractor and uh, hopefully the energetic healing will help. Okay, here is the winner. I'm gonna announce the winner of the Angels and Enlightenment training. Free class, you guys. Drum roll, please. Okay, I'll keep my day job. It's from Carol Heitkamp. Carol Heitkamp, subscribe to YouTube. And that's how you get registered for this drawing for our free class. Anybody listening, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ask Julie Ryan, and you'll be entered into this drawing. And Carol says, this show is amazing. I've watched a few episodes now and I love Julie. Thanks, Carol. I love you back. The healings are so powerful. Thank you for all you do. Now I'm going to go listen to the song, Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> Sweet Home Alabama. Da -da 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 -da. See, I can even play backup when I sing. I can sing backup, I can sing lead. You just, it's all part of the buffet of psychicness. So thanks, Carol. If you email, go to uh, askjulieryan.com, go to the tab that says Ask Julie a question and just say, hey, I'm Carol, I won the free class. And then uh, and then we'll, we'll get you all signed up with your scholarship. So congratulations, the first winner on my show of somebody who subscribed to my channel and was entered into the drawing. And if you wanna take my big class, remember angelic attendant training, all these angel trainings here, angelic attendant training, and it's May 18th and 19th, go to askjulieryan.com uh, and just click on the training tab and you'll be able to sign up for that. Love to have you join us. Okay, I think we have time for maybe one more question. Let's see who the lucky person is. Hi, Nelia. Hi, it's Nella. Hi, Julie. Nella. I'm calling from Manhattan, which is about 20 minutes drive from Birmingham, but England. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, thank you for calling in. But you say Birmingham over there, right? Instead of Birmingham, right? Yes. Yeah. So you guys are right because you were speaking English before they were speaking English here in America. So you're right. Not so, no, no, no not in my case because I'm Slovakian. So <laughs> So you say Birmingham? I say Birmingham. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Well, good. Nella, you got a question for me? Yes, please. It's about my kitty Phoebe. Uh, yeah. She has been diagnosed with cancer. Oh. Um, and I would like to know, I'm practicing a uh, quantum healing on her. Um, okay. They were given her a few weeks. Uh, that was nine months ago. Uh, oh, wow. So Good job. Like to, <laughs> yes. So I would like to know if there is any chance for her to be cured with your stem cell healing, mm -hmm. or if not, which phase of transition she's in. 
and if you can ask those two questions that we usually yeah. do. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to connect to you in the UK. Here we go. Here comes my laser beam heading across the Atlantic. Oh my God. She is so darling. Hi, sweet girl. For those of you that are listening, she's this beautiful cat and, and her mom has got her paw waving at us. How cute is that? Okay. Got that going. All right. Her spirit is out of her body at the moment, Nella, which she is in the transition. I don't see phases with animals like I do with humans, like my in my book, Angelic Attendance. Uh, I do see it's what I call the spirit bubble, which is it looks like a cartoon caption or a speech bubble where the character's thoughts are. And when somebody's spirit is out of their body and attached to the top of their head, I'm unable to scan them energetically because the spirit is the power source for the body. And it, it's the equivalent of me trying to look at an x-ray in a pitch black room without any electricity. So we can talk to her though. Phoebe, are you ready to go? Absolutely not. She's saying, she said, oh, absolutely not like that. Okay. Do you plan on being with your mama for a while, as long as I can, and then I'll be around her for forever after that? How sweet is that? Oh. Okay. Is there anything your mom can do? Do you have a heat lamp or some kind of a warmer that you use I, with her? Uh, no, I've got the red, red light lamp, but I haven't used it on her. Okay. She's saying that she'd like that. She's showing me a heat, like an old fashioned heat lamp. And I got that it was to provide warmth for her. So she may be a little chilly. Does she have a bed with a blankie in it? Or does she sleep with you? What's the story yes. on that? She sleeps with you. Yeah. I had a feeling. Okay. But, but maybe when you're not in the bed during the day, she's saying that okay. she's get, that she would like some kind of extra warmth okay. uh however you want to provide that she said yes she is in pain does she act like she's in pain no not at all and she's on painkillers so okay well that's why. That she... yeah yeah mm -hmm. uh so the painkillers mask the pain she still has the pain remember spirits are super literal super literal so is she in pain she's saying yeah she's on painkillers her brain's not letting her know perhaps she's on as she's in as much pain as she is but we need to be really specific when we're talking with spirit so i get a yes are you suffering no do you need more medication she's saying not at this time she's afraid it's going to make her too loopy okay does she act like she's kind of loopy on it now if you watch her, you wouldn't even say that she's ill. She, okay. She's playing, she's eating, she's absolutely normal. You know, so. Great. Great. Wonderful. Well, enjoy it. Enjoy her. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you for Thank staying you. up so late, girl. It's, what is it, like two in the morning there or something? <laughs> yes, two o'clock. God help me tomorrow at work. <laughs> oh, God bless you. Well, thank you for staying up and you look beautiful in the middle of the oh, night. So. Thank you for calling in. Okay. Thank you, Julie. Like, God bless you and Chris and everyone and all your family and keep doing what you're doing. Don't die yet. People need you. <laughs> oh, I have no plans. I'm going to live to be at least 130. I keep teasing my son and he's like, oh, God help us. But yeah, I have no plans to go anywhere anytime soon. Thanks, honey. Sweet dreams. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. All righty, everybody. That's it for this week. What a treat. Sending you lots of love from Sweet Home, Alabama. Mwah! And we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.